What is up investors, Jason here. So I'm gonna try to do a bit different video here talking about some stocks that I haven't talked about in a while. Well, one in particular that I haven't talked about in a while and that is uh, Tencent, which is a major EV backer. It's also big in the mobile gaming and other applications as well. And also talking about Didi uh, Group, who we talked about about a month ago and Didi seeing their stock you know, go down quite a bit after their IPO. Now, both these stocks are Chinese stocks. They're pretty, they're pretty big companies, and they've both taken quite a big hit. So in this video, I kind of just want to talk about what's going on with these stocks, what we can project in the future going on with these stocks, and are these good stocks to buy, in my own opinion. Now, this video is not financial advice, so please do take that in consideration. This video is for entertainment purposes only, so please do do your own research when looking into these stocks all right everybody so as we get to it if you don't mind please do me a huge favor please be sure to smash destroy annihilate or gently press that like button helps me out a lot with the youtube algorithm helps spread these videos to more people that might find it interesting and subscribe if you have not already and if you are interested in being a patreon helping support this channel even more i do have one the link is in the description and in a pinned comment below that really helps this channel and that gives you access to the Discord and other things that I share. All right, now let's get to it. So starting first with DD Group, ticker symbol DIDI. Now DD was the largest IPO for a Chinese company to debut in the United States since Alibaba back in 2014. So there was a lot of high expectations for this stock and a lot of people really rooting for it. But soon after this stock had its IPO, there was some regulations that was put on this company in China, which really affected the one, the business of this company, but also the performance of the stock. So the um, the price of the stock had gone as high as a price of $18, you know, right during that, uh, the, the first couple of days of trading. And then right after that is when the stock really started to tank. Now, currently DD stock is trading for a price of $9.31. And it actually had at one point dropped even below that going to a price of $7, around $7.16 was the low that it had gone to. Now, looking at this though, DD is a company that has a lot of users. There's a lot of possibilities for this company, but currently with these, these regulations that are going on with it, it kind of makes things um, a very iffy situation. It kind of puts a lot with DD up in the air. Is this a good stock to, to invest into? Should we stay away from it? And there's a lot of factors in with this to kind of just make you go, hey, this is something that I don't want to touch because DD is even talking about delisting themselves right now with everything that has gone on. So things have gone so bad that they're actually talking about, you know, taking their stock off the US market and, you know, taking it back to a private company. So that's kind of like one of those situations that's like, hey, you know, maybe this is one that might need to be backed off and let things cool down a bit and see where it goes from there. So one of the big issues that was uh, faced with Didi was there were some cybersecurity concerns that the Chinese government said about Didi, about the way that they're going public in the United States, and that raised some red flags, and that's when all these regulations started coming down. But also, one side of it is that there have been a lot of regulations on companies in China that are looking to IPO in the United States. Now, the Chinese government would really like to keep these companies uh, having their investors in china not seeking out to u.s company uh, or to u.s investors you know they'd really like to keep that on their own markets and let business connect that way now when we look into uh, the cybersecurity issues unidentified sources have said that dd has offered to give up control of the data to a private third party among other measures to resolve an ongoing probe by the cyberspace administration of china Chinese regulators are considering a range of sanctions from fines and suspensions of some operations to the sale of a stake to a state-owned company, U.S. delisting or forced privatization, those sources told Bloomberg. Bloomberg said Didi and Chinese government representatives didn't respond to requests for comment. Now, when we look over at the analyst projections, though, of Didi, things are a bit different here with what the projections are. Now, I'm sure that there might be some updated ones here eventually. But this is just based off of two different analysts. But the low for DD is $18.81, the medium $21.90, and the high about $25. So it's going to be interesting to see how well DD does perform because there's still quite a bit of high expectations for this stock with the with US investors, but at the same time, there's that that area of caution there about delisting or 
some sort of uh, of other regulations that can really affect the performance of the stock going forward. Now, I do have to say that the stock price has gone down very low, and if there wasn't all that those red flags there or all that red tape there, I would be more considering of investing into it. But I had actually already bought DD stock, and I had to sell it just because of all these cautions here uh, that does worry me. And uh, looking at it now, looking at other companies, uh, which we're gonna be talking about Tencent here, Tencent is a pretty big investor into Didi, and now Tencent is also very invested into other companies as well. They're invested into uh, Neo, which we talk about a lot in this channel. They're invested in Tesla, but they're also a bit invested a lot into gaming. So they're a big play as far as like EVs go, big play into things like uh, gaming. So they're in some really big industries, but uh, Tencent's seen their stock price drop down a lot, and uh, them owning you know almost seven percent of Didi. That's just another area where it really does hit Tencent and um, as well as other companies that they're invested into. So let's get into Tencent now and get an idea of uh, what we're seeing here. Now, you can buy Tencent here in the United States. It does trade OTC and you can find it under ticker symbol TCEHY on whatever broker will carry it. Um, it does trade on Robinhood under that ticker symbol, so you can find it there. But um, Tencent is not a small company by any means. Of course, a lot of people uh, recognize OTC with being penny stocks, and Tencent is far from being a stock that is a penny stock. Now, Tencent's market cap is a pretty good size. I mean, the market cap of Tencent is $536 billion, and it's one of the largest Chinese companies that are out there. Tencent did have a much higher market cap just recently. If we look at how this stock has performed just over these last three months, we can see that starting in July, Tencent stock really started to nosedive down just like a lot of these other Chinese stocks that are out there. So basically when, when everything went on with Didi, that's the same time we saw things really take a turn for Tencent. Uh, Tencent going from a price of around about $80 a share in late June to, you know, currently being at a price of $57.71 here in the first week of August. Now, if you look at the last 52 weeks of, of Tencent, the stock had traded at a low of $55.77, which just recently hit that low, and a high of $99.40. So Tencent has really been a stock that has been beat up over all the stuff that's going on over in China. And we're talking about a company that has been one of the largest companies, one of the largest Chinese companies, I should say. And now we're seeing this stock drop down so much in value since then. From what the analysts are saying, though, the analysts have very high expectations of the stock. If we look at just the, the recommendations here, it has 42 analysts giving it a buy rating. And they have uh, five analysts giving it an outperform and four analysts saying hold there's no underperform or anything like that this stock is one that analysts are very bullish on and just to to look as an example here between 48 different analysts offering a 12-month price forecast for Tencent holdings uh, they have a median target of $93.24 with a high estimate of $120.93 and a low estimate of $44.96 now there is a lot to really take in here because Tencent's been beaten down so much. And this is a stock that analysts were projecting very bullishly that this stock was going to go to a price as high as $120, but a median price of $93. So there's a lot of room there to grow if we're going off of the analyst expectations or what the analysts are forecasting here with the stock. And when we look at what the analysts are saying about the sales forecast here, Current quarter, 52 cents. Sales, $21.5 billion. The reporting date when this is all going to be coming out, August 18th. So something to really be looking forward to here in the future. Now, in my opinion, I think that 10 cents is going to be putting up some really large numbers still. This is all just recent stuff that's kind of just happened. 10 cent isn't a, a stock that's officially IPO'd here in the United States. It's just on a it's just available through OTC. So I think that we might see some things to just be able to kind of get better for Tencent, in my opinion, but they're seeing a big effect of all this stuff that's going on in China because Tencent has their hands in a lot of different things 
and it's it's taking a, an effect on the stock right now with other things that's going on there in China. But I think in the long run, in my opinion, Tencent is one to definitely be watching. I think there's a lot of potential here, especially because we know that they have their hands in companies here in the United States. We know where they're at with gaming and and everything that they they have these large investments into, and their their EV backings, Tesla, Neo. Um, Tencent is just one that I think that this stock has a lot of potential to really grow from. It's having some current issues that are affecting it right now. But I think in the long run, Tencent is one that could really be a big winner. But that's just my personal opinion and obviously not financial advice. But I think that that right now, Didi, a little bit of an issue. Tencent, I think this one is that that is really on sale right now. I think that is a really good deal in my personal opinion. And I'm even considering about picking up some shares of it and seeing how things go. But anyways, that's the video. I'd like to hear your guys' thoughts and opinions of this. Please like, share, comment, subscribe. New videos coming out all the time. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you all very soon in the next video.